Ever since New Year's, the turbine deck here at the Dry Fork Station has been rumbling. It happens about once an hour, and each time workers get three minutes warning. Three minutes till uh, air blow. That's the sound that's come 97 times up to this point. The signal another air blow at Dry Fork Station is three minutes away. One minute air blow, one minute. It lasts only about 20 seconds, but this is the step needed to clean out the pipes before Dry Fork Station can start generating electricity. So it's to get all that debris out. There might even be stuff that's left in there like a bolt or something like that that will get uh, cleaned out of the system. Doug Rothy is the mechanical performance consulting engineer on site. The last time he oversaw air blows was on Unit 2 of Antelope Valley Station in 1986. We used to just blow it out the side of the wall and up in the air, but now they uh, diffuse it into these exhausters to kind of dissipate the energy and it's safer and there's less debris flying around all over. Operations Superintendent Joel Dingman says the pipes will get air blown through them 24 hours a day, once an hour, for about two weeks. You don't get to where there's no debris, but you get to where, you know, it's a percentage, I'd say like 90%. You know that you're 90% clean. If they didn't blow out the pipes on a power plant, debris like welding slag would damage the turbine. That would be a major disaster. Well, you get a lot of erosion. You might even get, if it's a big piece of debris, you might get uh, significant blade damage or breakage. Every so often during air blows, a brass target is inserted into the pipes. The target will show damage from debris flying through the pipes. On this day, blow number 100 gets target tested. You cannot have more than, no more than one impact within one square inch on the target. The air blows will continue for another 12 hours before a target is tested again. I mean, it didn't, it didn't penetrate, you see what I'm right. saying? Warning sound, major rush of air, checking the results. An important job in Dry Fork Station commissioning. Air blows finished up successfully on January 9th. Because this method was used instead of steam blows, the plant saved several million dollars. At Dry Fork Station, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.